are here at 401 Games on a Wednesday night with the prototype Toronto League semifinals. Uh, I'm Aaron P. and I'm here with... Emily P., no relation. <laughs> you stole my joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got Tim Ralphs versus Stephen Buey. Um, and these guys have... You've seen these guys in the past couple of weeks... Uh, Tim's been making his way to the top of the league as well as doing well in system opens and whatnot around the <laughs> world as he does. Uh, Tim Ralph's is also known by the pseudonym Timbo Slice uh, and also Canadian Tim. Steve Buey is a local dude. Uh, he's not really played much competitively. In fact, this league season might be one of the first times he's, he's played something semi-competitive. Um, but he's been doing well. We saw him stomp Philip last week. So we're just going to get these guys all set up, and then we're going to have a little chat with them about their uh, their plans of action here. Mm -hmm. What they're thinking. Any thoughts on uh, rock placement here? What'd you do? What you did? Um, I originally wanted to lean in the middle so that no matter where he deploys, I can kind of cut in. Yep. Um, I didn't do that just because he's going to start ta um, stacking tokens, right? His list is designed like, yep, you know, so right. he wants he wants to stall for time. I probably still could have came up the middle, um, but I, I think it's just better for me to try to get behind the ghost, uh, you know, get a get a target lock, um, you know, hopefully he won't be able to shoot the, the proton back, mm -hmm. um, gives my bomber a little bit more time, a little more survivability. Uh, I don't want to take them both at once. Mm -hmm. um, so I think... And I'm trying to I'm trying to kill uh, number one first, uh, the Canaan. Yeah. Um, just because it has the um, the auto auto thruster chart. Auto blaster. Which, yeah. Yeah, which really cuts my end game for um, for Whisper, right? Mm. If I can take that one out, I think Whisper has a very good chance of of surviving, and uh, you know, so that that's really what I'm gonna do. All right. So you've brought your double ghosts out of. Have they been in retirement? I haven't seen them for a while. You shook the dust off of them. Uh, so, which rocks did you bring, and what was your thought process in this kind of setup we've got here? Sure, thanks for asking. So, we got the two debris clouds on either corners. Uh, those were me. I put them at three and three, so I know how uh, I know how to judge my five Ks better. Right, that's as, a good trick. As you said, um, it's been a while since I played these guys, so I'm probably going to be a little rusty. I brought the little mustache guy over on the side just right. because I like having that kind of setup. I like it is rocks almost strange one from each other but there's enough room in between them that it's a little bit more comfortable for big clunky right, the big bases. garbage truck type <laughs> ships making hard turns. So uh, why'd you bring this list? I practiced something like it before when I was going to do a Merc match with like Alan Fung. Yep. Uh, it was not a league match mm -hmm. but uh, yeah I thought it would just honestly I just thought it would be a fun list. It's good against a lot of little things. It's got you know, sort of a blocker. I think Whisper is good for end, my end game. Uh, you know, and my bomber is good for initial, you know, one shot. I, I'm probably not going to get much out of him. He's, he's too heavily loaded. Uh -huh. uh, he's probably dead pretty quick, to be honest. But well, lightweight frame might help you there. That's why I have it, just because I think he, you know, give him a little bit of survivability, hopefully get two off. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think uh, your main strategy here is up against Steven? So he's got some Imperial stuff. We got a Whisper in there, which could be a little frightening with the high attack power. Yeah, I really don't think the Gamma Squadron uh, veteran can live for very long if I want to have a chance. Um, I don't like his face. And he's got a lot of weapons on there. Yeah, he's got a lot of a lot of torps, a lot of whatever, especially that advanced proton torpedo. He's giving me initiative, so I get to shoot first, but there's still simultaneous fire there. Right. So I've got to be careful on that. Um, Countdown can eat torps and stuff, so I can't waste them on him. And Whisper is going to be a late-game monster, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, big shout-out to everybody from the PTL and GRX who made it down to Origins over the weekend. We had a blasty blast of a time. And thank you, M, for, for casting uh, the, the league so far. Okay, so it looks like Agent Callus has gone on Chopper. <laughs> so on Tim's side, we've got his double ghost build. It's a Kane and Jarrus with the advanced sensors, auto blaster turret, plasma torpedoes, ray, gin airso, and guidance chips, and chopper with fire control systems, sync turret, Ezra Bridger, guidance chips, 
Plasma Torps, and Hira Syndulla. So we're going to see, like Steven said, a lot of token stacking on Kanan's side. And mm -hmm. those uh, torpedoes for the rear shots are going to be really important, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. They at least present that no-go bubble uh, to the other side when the, the butt arc. Now, advanced sensors on Kanan is, is actually pretty tricksy. Yeah, stop him from being blocked and missing out on all his actions that are super, super important to his whole strategy. Yep, I mean, he can go ahead and just grab a couple focus tokens with his Jin Urso card before he moves. Uh, and that's pretty wild. Um, I'm interested to see how the Sync Turret performs here, too. Uh, it's a choice to go with that instead of the Auto Blaster, the second Auto Blaster. Um, Okay, meanwhile, over here on Steven's side, we have Whisper with what came to be the, the final Whisper build before she was retired from most competitive play. <laughs> She's got VI, FCS, Agent Callus, and as we heard before, Callus has been taken on Chopper and the Advanced Cloaking Device. So nothing particularly surprising there. Um, it will... Um, allow him hopefully to stay at range three and out of arc of those ghosts with Whisper and take some shots. Right. That's what he'll be aiming for. Yeah. Then we have a very heavy Gamma Squad vet. Look at that guy, 36 points. He's got push the limit. Uh, advanced Pro Torps, haven't seen those since like played since like wave two. Yeah. The ubiquitous harpoon missile, extra munitions, and lightweight frame for defense instead of chips. Uh, now, with a push there, he's going to be able to grab a target lock and a focus on anybody right. who's foolish enough to turn up range one from him. Um, and, of course, he's got the harpoon to fire from range three. Yeah, and you two. don't want to deal with either of those things, especially if you're a ghost with no agility. Yeah. I'm, on the other hand, I mean, you do have six shields, so you could probably eat one of those things if you could totally mash the bomber into oblivion in that round. And finally, we have my favorite and yours in the whole game, at least as far as 1.0 goes, Countdown. Countdown can, of course, instead of taking damage normally from an attack, if he is not stressed, take a stress and a face-down damage card instead of whatever damage he would have been dealt. Now this Countdown is missing lightweight frame, so he's running around naked here with nothing but those ailerons. Um, and he's actually weirdly in this match going to move after all of Tim's guys. In fact, all of Steven's guys move after Tim's guys. That's right. So that's a bit wild. Uh, this looks like a rough matchup to me for Steven. Uh, I was asking Steven about his list when I first got here, and he looked at his bomber and he went, oh, this might be a bit of a points pinata. Yeah. So he, he's worried about that. He's painted a big target on there. Look at all the things on here. Mm -hmm. So he said his primary target is going to be Kanan, but he put his Agent Callus on Chopper. Do you think that's to do with the return fire issue? Yeah, I think it's a good call. I used to do the same thing when I was flying a Whisper uh, against, well, TLT Ghosts and, and a lot of other stuff with very good range 3 firepower. Since you can't dodge those guys all the time, and since they're taking multiple shots with TLTs, Agent Callus is nice to defend against the ship that you're not going to kill first. Right, okay. Um, and uh, But here there's no TLTs. There will probably still be fire from that sink turret, though, at range 2 out of arc. So I think it's a good call. Uh, whether or not it will be enough to defend against these guys is another question. So I'm not sure what's happening here. Okay. Oh, we see Tim has some fancy templates. wonder where he got those. <laughs> fancy guy. Um, and we've got Chop burning on out. Pretty nice spot for banking in for Chopper there. Yeah, the rocks are set up really well for, for that. Kanan can ride that back edge, make those other guys come to him. All right, Steven is starting. So is this the move or the adaptive aileron? That's the aileron. It's still it's still an optional thing, right? In first edition or nope. Oh. Uh, 
it's necessary. Oh, right. It's built in in second edition. Yeah. I keep mixing the up what's happening. Only the pilot duchess can decide not to do it. Okay. I mean, you can not equip uh, advanced ailerons in 1.0. In that case, you don't do it. But right. then, of course, you're a slow little ship with... <laughs> they were meant to be speedy. Absolutely. So we've got Countdown swinging out and going fast. I mean, he had to get away from that uh, rock there. He didn't want to be stuck behind that. But it looks like he's lunging his way towards the, the ghosts over there. And he takes an evade, just in case Kanan comes in hot, which I doubt he will. Kanan's already moved for now. Yeah. All right. So then we have Super Gamma. I feel like he needs more of a name than just Gamma Squadron Veteran. Yeah, what should we call him? Hmm. You're better at naming than I am. Let's call him... Let's assume he's like a captain. <laughs> captain Bomb. Captain Bomb. Captain Heavy. How about Captain Heavy? All right. <laughs> And we got a four straight from Whisper. I mean, it's very nice for uh, Stephen that he's got uh, Captain Heavy and Countdown moving at the same time. Oh, I guess Kanan's already moved. Yeah, that's right. Can we see his ray card? I can't make out his ray card. Oh, yeah, it's right there in the corner. It's an alt art made by Stephen Kim. Oh, very nice. All right, so Whisper is not cloaked. No, I think she's cloaked. Captain Nuclear, says Tommy <laughs> Adams. Okay, well, we'll... we'll yeah, that's we'll, probably better. Let's, let's keep taking suggestions. Captain Nuke, sure. <laughs> At some point, maybe Captain Nuked. Captain Vapor Trail. Captain Ash Heap, maybe. Just all the munitions. Yeah. Not sure what's happening with tokens here. I think we're just back to the planning phase. So Whisper can try for a range three engagement with Kanan. Yeah, it looks like Tim's kind of got both of his uh, sides covered here. He can, you know, keep going straight with either of his guys and kind of keep those arcs on no matter where Steven is going at this point. There's no sneaking up. Yeah. Looks like Tim might actually have to play Steven's game here and have Kanan wander out into the field of fire of all three of those ships. What does a three hard with Captain Grandma do for, uh, do for Steven? Munitions Man is another suggestion from Steven Down. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're just going to see a short move there from Kanan, hoping to just have maybe one of the guys in range shoot a nice primary shot and try and get some damage in before all of those ships are on him. Yeah. Chop can do a two-turn here. Oh, yeah. And he's stressed, but he's got Ezra, so that kind of works out for him. He's got some kind of dice mod if he does that. I think it was a pretty good move for Steven to come up this board edge instead of spreading out. The danger is, of course, that he get, might get trapped in there. Yeah, that's true. Those two giant ships are going to be right in his way. Mm -hmm. They're bullies. They, like, <laughs> smash into you with a whole bunch of blocks and stuff. Despite how they're portrayed on the TV show, Kanan and Chopper are not nice people. I never thought Chopper was nice. That's true. He's kind of mean. <laughs> I think he's my favorite Star Wars droid ever. I'm a big fan of all of the droids, but especially Chopper. Yeah. Wah, wah. All 
All right, I think we've got all the dials set. Stevens checking it twice. It's important. And we got a three bank. Kanan hitting the engines. That would be in. chopper moving first. You're right. We've I'm totally had them confused. mixed up. Wow. Yep. They're totally labeled and fault. everything. Yep. <laughs> and we still messed it up. And Kanan's the taller one. Okay. So Chop is coming in for a block on countdown. Taking the evade. Take the evade. Kanan is just engaging. Wow. Well, that totally changes everything, yeah, he took it? an early stress and then didn't clear it before engaging. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Because Kanan wants those tokens a lot. So you think we'll see a bump here from Countdown? Yeah, unless um, Steven saw it coming. Could be as a two bank, and what he could do is he could aileron one straight and then two bank and end up just on the other side of Chopper's arc. So, Death Dream asks, does anyone in your meta play TIE Swarm or X-Wing Swarm? Well, as of tomorrow, when <laughs> Saw Gerrera's guys drop, whoa, he's going wide, uh, you're going to see tons of those X-Wing Swarms, Everyone's I'm sure. Everyone's going to play an X-Wing Swarm. And, I mean, we used to have a bunch of players who played TIE Swarm like it was a religion, but it's been a long time since that religion <laughs> had any hold in this galaxy. Ooh, I think Countdown has just gone and yeah, lost himself an arc. Looks out of arc. He could barrel roll in and get shot by both ships. But he'll be taking some damage then. Yeah, I think he might just be out of Chopper's arc, though, too. Yeah. Well, Chopper does have a sink turret, but he needs a target lock to shoot it. What's the range on sink turret? Is it? One to two. One to two, right. Yeah. But it requires a target lock to fire? Yeah. In the same way that blaster turret needs a focus token. All things which will no longer exist in <laughs> 2.0, happily. <laughs> Woohoo! All right. Here comes our... Captain Heavy. Captain Heavy. The munitions man. You can set that to the tune of Hart's Magic Man, if you like. He's going right in there. I think we're going to see, uh, see him lay down some pain. Oh, yeah. Get that target lock. Yeah, that's, that's in range, Steve. Just wants to double check. <laughs> Never hurts to throw down a range ruler. He's so dun, 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 heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's it. No more karaoke for me. <laughs> <laughs> Whispered in decloak. Whisper was not cloaked to begin oh, okay. with. Three turn, perhaps? Two turn. Two turn. Will she fit? I think she'll fit. I think so. She's going to fit. Wow. Just facing off. Well, Tim has zero mods on attack here. Yeah. And the Imperials have some mods. But Countdown might not have arc, so we'll see how this goes. I think Steven has a pretty good chance of laying a little bit of hurt into Chopper there. Mm -hmm. Get some, start chipping away. Knock some shields off that guy. I'm really interested to see how ghosts work in 2.0, what with that reinforce action. Yeah, they're going to be interesting. They're definitely going to be fairly different. Yeah. All right, we have Whisper shooting on somebody. That looks like some pretty decent dice. Two hits. And Tim just takes the damage. Just took the shields. And that was on Chop. Yep. All right. Say, Victor, could you... Thank you. 
So they're having a conversation. Yeah, I think he, they're working on oh, okay. Kanan's shot right now. There we go. Whisper's got all our stuff. So that's Kanan's shot, and it's just one. Who is the target? Is it Captain Heavy? We'll see by the number of dice. That's three, three dice. dice. Looks like it's Captain Heavy. And that'll be Chopper. Just one. So was that any damage at all for the captain? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not and sure. Now either. it's the captain's turn. Go, Captain Heavy. Everyone on the internet is rooting for you. <laughs> it's your Lay time to shy, hurt. buddy. Don't know what he's thinking about. It's time to shoot somebody with a harpoon missile. He's got green dice in his hand. Yeah, there's some sort of conversation with the two players and the judge happening. I think uh, Whisper forgot her FCS. Oh, I see. All right, folks, we're just going to pause for a moment. There was some confusion going on there, folks. No big deal. Timeout? Oh, we're still on a timeout. All right. So a missing card was causing some confusion. Things will continue with the lists as listed. So Alkaline Divide says 2.0 Ghost makes me sad so far. Uh, it makes me jubilant. I'm really looking forward to seeing it as a jousting list. Not unlike the ones that uh, Tim is running here. I like yeah. them as jousting I'll probably ships. run a couple of double ghost lists myself when uh, when it all drops. And the estimated point cost, or the preliminary point cost we've seen for a Lothal Rebel is somewhere in the 70s, if I'm not wrong. So that's about on par to what it is now, isn't it? I'm not sure what well, it is what's now. What's 70 divided by 2? I think it's 40. It's about 40, right? So it's a bit cheaper. No, I think it, I think that puts it about the same. Yeah. Thirty something. Yeah. Is that what it was before? Yeah. I think the local is thirty some odd, 30, 34, something like that. But compared to the point scaling that we've seen so far for the other 2.0 ships, it'll be fairly cheap. Should be interesting. Okay, we've mm -hmm. got what must be the harpoon missile shot going on yeah. from Stephen here. And he's thinking about it, and he's spending the target lock to re-roll. Do it, yeah, die, there And he gets you go. three and a crit. So mm -hmm. Chopper's going to lose his remaining two shields Spend and take three. a hit. Oh, no, a crit. Looks like a direct. And he's All going right. to get harpooned. Mm-hmm. Directed. So, so that's I not... Guess Countdown had no shot. Oh, I see. So we're using a special token for the uh, harpoons. Well, that went pretty amazingly for Steven. Yeah. He took one damage on his bomber mm -hmm. and did quite a, quite a bit of damage to Chopper. Now, he's got to get Chopper, of course. Uh, and Steven's left himself... Left Whisper in a position which isn't great. Looks like she can't decloak left, which means she can only decloak right. And they and she could decloak forward. I'm not sure she could decloak to either side, could she? I think she's got enough for the two straight that way. Guillaume Leclerc asked, who painted Tim Bow's ghosts? Is that Eric Z's work? Yes, of course it is. That is some Eric Z original stuff right there. They are indeed amazing. Oh, maybe it was. I think it might have <laughs> been Kelvin. No, I think it was Kelvin. Okay, <laughs> sorry, folks. Kelvin did them. Uh, well, that Neither was a faux pas. Neither of us know pop. what we're talking about, but I think it was Kelvin. Yeah. I guess we could ask Tim. We'll have to ask him later. <laughs> well, that that's a pretty huge faux pas for me on stream. <laughs> Miss assigning the uh, artwork to the wrong person. 
Um, yeah, so Whisper has to do something here. Now, of course, a lot of people in this situation would like to decloak right with Whisper if it fits. Maybe Whisper just stays cloaked and leaves and comes back around with better positioning later. Maybe. What is Tim going to do here? Yeah, Tim's pointing really nicely at that debris cloud with uh, both of his ships. Mm -hmm. I guess they don't... I mean, Kanan cares about stress, and he's still stressed right now, so... Yep. Chopper doesn't care so much. He's got Ezra. Yeah, I mean... And Hera. So, yeah, Chopper doesn't mind being stressed. He has to move first, but... So Whisper is decloaking forward. Um, oh, dear. That probably means there's a good chance he's going to K-turn Whisper here. I'm not sure if that's a great idea. Yeah, I'm not sure what else he could really do, though. At least it blocks... Um, Chopper's forward move, which Chopper is not doing. No, Chopper is turning in. Maybe a self-block on Kane in there. I think so. Clear his stress, at least. I hear a die hit the floor. <laughs> this is some debris is being rolled for. That's a crit. It's a crit. Well, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Can't make that up. We'll see shortly. Oh, must have been a major explosion. And he takes another crit. Oh, brutal. Wow, that's brutal. the worst debris cloud I've ever seen. Major explosion. And what was the second one? I one wonders. Ah, oh, well, Victor's on top of it. Weapons so failure. Weapons failure. <laughs> that really sucks as well. That, that was, was a, a really rough move. That was a whole real big bag of just worst luck possible. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's see where that that'll leave us. Two more hull down. Wow. Sure, Steven's happy with that move. All the free ones? Yeah. yeah. Just straight However, from the bomber. However, it looks like Tim's gambit has worked, and the bomber does not have arc. Right. For the proton yeah. torpedoes. So even though it cost him dearly, he's dodged that arc. So the bomber could barrel roll to the north and try to get Ark on somebody, but he's not going to be able to launch the Protorp without... Or he could launch the Protorp without both tokens, but it would be a bit wild. Looks like he's just going to focus up and stay where he is. All right, we've got our ailerons. Mm -hmm. And that's actually quite nice for Countdown in this matchup. Lots of decision-making can be made after he sees what Tim Yeah, did. that's super handy. Looks like we've got a two-turn. Setting up for a nice shot there. Hitting right up in Chopper's. Right in there. Backside. <laughs> this is going to be a fast and brutal one. Yeah, I'm really surprised by that move from Chopper, and I think Steven might have been as well. Clearly. I mean, he's got no way to shoot that. Protorp. Now, it would be really interesting if Whisper does a K-turn here. Oh, he's barrel rolling our boy Countdown. Huh. Going back. I'm surprised by that. It looked like he had a nice range one shot on Chopper, who's already taken a ton of damage. Yeah. It looks like it. Oh, I guess we'll wait and see what it is. Is it a four straight? It looks like a straight. So he did what you suggested and just got the heck out. Yeah, gonna probably just cloak and come back around. Well, chances are that the only thing that can shoot him here is an auto blaster turret, so it makes no difference on defense oh, whether yeah. or not he can cloak or not. Um, that sink turret could hit him too. Uh, again, sink turret can only oh. fire at him with the target lock. So You're the only right. person that chopper can shoot with the target lock is. Captain Splendid Pants down there. Number Good two. thing you're here. 
Fought against these guys a couple of times. He is barrel rolling with Chopper, uh, with uh, Whisper to get away, <laughs> to attempt to get away from the Auto Blaster turret. It's also decent positionally, but it does mean that Whisper will be coming out next round uncloaked. Facing the wrong way. Yeah, that's interesting. So it's pretty good news. Looks like he escaped the range. Mm -hmm. So Kanan feeds himself a focus token with Ray. And we've got some more garbage dice luck for Tim. Yeah, that was. Kanan rolls one, and it is evaded by the bomber. That wow, little that was bomber. Bad luck. And then Chopper's making the decision. Oh, no, it's countdown shot. Right, I think we are checking Ark with the bomber, which he doesn't have. Now so countdown. There's Kanan's ability being used. This will be one less die, whoever the target is. Right. And it's two hits and a crit. That's a really Hot nice roll. Fire. One, two, three, Ooh. crit is... Looks like another weapons failure. I was going to say, it looks like he drew the other weapons failure. Now, do those stack? I don't think so. I don't know. That That's interesting. I've never actually considered that, whether or not mm -hmm. they stack. It would be the same thing with the, the limited agility card. Oh, well, I guess the judge will decide. And a major hull breach, just for fun. Oh, I can hear Tim from here now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look, Sharif has stopped in for a visit. Long time since I've seen him. It's not Sharif, it's just, <laughs> it's just Devin. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sharif, wherever you are out there, we miss you, buddy. All right, looks like the synced turret. He's firing the sync turret. He's got... Hit crit? I'm not sure why he didn't fire a torp there. Does he have the range for a torp? Mm, good point. That looks like it might be a one. No, he would have had an extra die on the turret. And Steven just evades I it. I can't believe the green dice on this bomber. Yep. I'm going to call him Captain Evade. All right, there we go. <laughs> Captain can't touch this. Dun, dun, that, dun, 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 I'm dun, seriously dun, dun. blown away by the green dice on that side. Yeah, that's some luck. Steven had some, has had some nice dice here. I mean, Tim hasn't had a lot of modifiers, but still. Well, what do you do now if you're Tim? Huh. I don't know. Kanan is not in such a good position right now. But, I mean, if I'm Steven, I'm finishing off Chopper because why wouldn't I? Mm-hmm. I think if I were Tim, I would just bump into Kanan again. Yeah. Go nowhere. Just, yeah, and then hope that Steven flies all of his ships right into you because he didn't see you staying in the same spot. Yeah. That, that's actually a really good strategy. I mean, the last thing you want is Whisper and Countdown shooting at you, or two of those three ships shooting at you before you get a chance to shoot. You might survive one. Actually, he well, he's got Kanan's help. Kanan still has one focus token left on Ray, so he can reduce the shot by one damage die. Yeah, it's oh, nice. I know what happened to the sink turret. Weapons failure applied. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing they're better at keeping track of this stuff than we are. I mean, I missed I, it too. Tim does have down the nice critical tokens, which are super important. And uh, people who don't use the critical tokens are the worst. They are. I'm calling you all out right now. <laughs> all right, so we are seeing Chopper move. So the major hull breach was flipped down there as Chopper's action. That's an interesting choice with only two hull remaining anyway. 
Yeah, I mean... I think I might have preferred even an evade token over that. Maybe. Yeah, I think you're right. Maybe he plans to use Kanan to block, but I don't see how. There's no stall move there. Maybe he's just written Chopper off, and he's getting Kanan out into a good hunting position. So Kanan is doing some advanced. Oh, okay. With Kanan just now? Oh, my. So Kanan has just suffered a damage from passing through that debris. The another debris did crit. another damage? It did. But he did advance sensors for the target lock, right? He did, yep. So he's got that plasma torp. Countdown is doing an ailerons to the left. And then he's going to bank two. Give himself a range one on Chopper. Totally called Chopper's move there, I guess. With the aileron, there was little Chopper could do, I think, except... Oh, yeah, I think you're right. Like... You know, three turn from the bomber. He really means to kill Chopper. Yeah, he's not letting Chopper get out of this one. Who did Kanan target lock? Kanan target locked the bomber. Right. Why were you calling him? Captain Dodge a lot? <laughs> I think I just said Captain Evade, but I like Dodge a lot. Dodge a lot? MC Dodge a lot? <laughs> Something going on with target locks. Oh, okay. So Dodge Lot is taking his target lock on Chopper. Uh, Masta 996 says so Dodge Lot is going to eat a torp. Yeah, looks like it. Because uh, there's nothing else Kanan can fire at anybody. I think he doesn't even mind, though, because he's going to probably finish off Chopper and then mm -hmm. I think that's a fair trade. For does. Steven. 3K. 3K. Yep. Stays in the back. All right. So Whisper's got no shot. Nothing there. Which is fine by Steven. Doesn't need Whisper to kill Chopper. And we got Plasma Torps. Yep. From Kanan's butt. And there's a decent die a, roll. That was a good Chips roll. for three and a crit. Now let's see if Sir Dodgelot lives up to his sobriquet. He's got an extra die here for that he debris. So. And the lightweight frame stacks on top of that. Yeah. So he's actually got four dice. Looks like he has no focus token. So we'll see what happens. So he's only rolled three. Oh, he's rolling separately. <laughs> he dodges a lot. It's pretty good. So he takes hit crit. Hit crit, not so terrible. No, that was that was more dodging from Dodge a lot. So it's major a major hull breach. Which is gonna be rough on the bomber. And now the killing of Chopper. <laughs> Using Kanan's ability to drop countdown down a die. Yeah. And Countdown spend has a focus. focus to spend. Yeah. Yep. Spends three. And Kanan, uh, sorry, Chopper. Chopper's out of there. All right. So this is hideously bad for Tim. Yeah. Uh, that's it's not how I expected it to go. Me neither. I mean, those three extra damage or whatever that he took going through that debris cloud. That's true. That did not help. No. I mean, that, that was pretty much unanticipated. Some bad lights, dice luck on Tim's side. It's nice. Must be said though, some uh, nice positioning for countdown there in the middle. Some hot dice from countdown as well. 
And we've seen Kanan spend all of his stacked ray tokens, so mm -hmm. that's going to be rough on him. Yep. It'd be very hard for him to come back. He's facing the wrong way. He spent his plasma torp. Yeah, he's in rough shape. Uh, so, Masta, we can't check right now if the overlay is correct. Uh, looks like a damage on countdown. I'm not sure. Three on dodge lot makes sense. Who are the hosts? You're asking about us? I'm Aaron P. And I'm Emily P. No relation. <laughs> I'll let you have it this time. Uh, and this is, of course, VTTV Live broadcasting to you here. Uh, now, a reminder for everyone, uh, VTTV Live has a Patreon, so go check that out. Make a donation for some of the finest X-Wing streaming um, in the world. In the uh, world. In the world, yeah. International. Um, and they also do Armada, L5R, and a bunch of other games. So Isaac Carr asked, was there any list-building restriction in this league? I believe it was no Fen and no Bombs. Yeah, I think this game looks like it was pretty wide open. So the only restriction would be they can't repeat a named pilot they've already flown. And right. these guys have already played, what, nine games leading up to this? Eight this in the would league? Be their and, okay. Yeah. And Tommy Adams is quoting from Monty Python. What are you going to do? Bleed on me? <laughs> Well, we'll see. Tim has come back from some really rough situations in the past. Yeah. If you've seen his games before on stream, he is no slouch. I was about to say I thought we might see the 5K from Kane in there because he's got to turn around, but yeah, I think he, he only stressed. did it too straight. Don't think the bomber can get arc from him on him where he is, but. Countdown, of course, can pursue him till the end, and all Kanan's got is an auto blaster turret. You don't think the bomber can get arc with a hard turn of some sort? Sorry, it could get arc, but it would be stressed. Right. Countdown is weirdly flying away. Re regrouping and coming back. Although it would probably be best to stay on Kanan while he's facing the wrong way, too. That's just the sort of happy accident that Tim needs to come back. Yeah. Maybe that was a dial mistake. Maybe he said it the other way. Uh, mm. Steven is disengaging. Is that really what's happening? He's disengaging even though there's 40 minutes left. Wants to regroup and come in strong. I All guess. guns blazing. Is he going to try to kill Kanan with Whisper? Not this round. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he's given Tim a round to yeah, bank Tim's some focuses. That's really good for Tim. He turn needs, his butt around. Yeah, needs a little bit of time to turn his ship around. I did not think that Steven would break away. And Steven is barrel rolling instead of cloaking. Okay, I'm not really sure what Steven is doing here. As you say, he must be planning on uh, regrouping and coming back around. He doesn't want to chip away. He wants to just blow it up mm -hmm. in one go. It's 14 health there. I guess he must just be really afraid of that auto blaster turret. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure Countdown's ability works versus the auto blaster turret anyway. So... I mean, Countdown's a great piece in this matchup against one Ghost. I mean, you can jam the Countdown in his face. And the best the Ghost can do is drop a damage on him. Oh, that's true. So, are we going to see K turns from Steven, or do you think he's going to take the long way, hard turning back around? Well, I think he's just going to try to keep... Captain Dodge a lot out of the fight. Out of the fight, yeah, he's almost gone. On the whole, he's down to one hull, according to our display here. Countdown's down to three hull. All right, well, we'll see what happens. And uh, 
Steve, yeah, so I think he'll probably uh, do an aileron and a turn from Countdown. We get a three turn from Kanan, so he's stressing himself again. I think that was the only thing he could do. Maybe that two, maybe a two turn would have cleared. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, at this point, all of Steven's ships have so much distance. Taking that stress for that opportunity to take that big turn was pretty good. Yeah. And he also wants to stay ahead of Whisper. He's got a lot of board clearance on there now to play around with for his next bunch of moves. Yeah. Although he'll probably just want to do the two bank and clear that stress. And Countdown is coming back. Heart full of flurry, fury and taste <laughs> of blood in the air. Oh, it's just a one turn. Staying out of engagement range. Yeah, makes sense to not come in with just the one ship because I don't think uh, Whisper is going to make it in either. No. So if you were Steven here, would you turn Whisper or try to chase from behind with a bank? Um, I think Whisper is going to come up behind, so like a big bank probably. Mm -hmm. Have one ship out front, one behind, chase mm. down that Kanan. There you go. And now it's time to cloak. Get that speed going. Yeah, absolutely. All right, looks like no shots this round. Back to dials. Another focus for the focus bank. Yeah, I mean, if I'm Tim, I'm pretty happy with how that just went down. He had time to regroup and get organized. Yep. What else is green on the ghost style? Um, Apart from the two bank? Well, the one and two straight, I think, and that's it, other than the banks. Neither of those is very good. I guess it's the two bank then. Yeah, I would think that you're right. So it looks like Whisper will probably decloak forward and do another three bank. I yep. would agree with that for sure. Looks like it'll give her range. Tough to say. What are we waiting on here? Just countdown style. Yeah, that's not an easy list to play. You have to think about all your decloaks, all your ailerons. It's fun. I really enjoy lists like that. I don't I don't have the mind power for mm -hmm. it. I like B-wings because you point it somewhere and you hope something's in the arc mm -hmm. and then you shoot. But you do those tricky barrel rolls for blocks and stuff, so there's some similarities. Also, it's a matter of practice, right? With, Absolutely. With uh, strikers, you play a couple dozen games with them and then you start to get a real feel for them. There it is, the two bank. And an evade. If Tim is really lucky, Whisper will remain at range. We've got a one bank and Countdown will probably try to come in on the side of Kanan. Avoid the big primary shot. Yeah, you don't want to take that right in the face. No, nope. just going straight in. I imagine he focused, but I cannot see. Yeah. Masta1996 says, does not matter for Countdown. It doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot. I mean, if you're Countdown, you would kind of like to set up a situation where you only take one damage. So you don't have to take a stress. And here's the three bank. I think that's going to give him range. Well, that's going to be close, yeah. I mean, Kanan's still real healthy. Oh, yeah. And Steven is barrel rolling. Closing some of that range. And he's got a good setup to move right between those rocks now. It's pretty good. There's Steven measuring with his corset range ruler. <laughs> this guy's hardcore, man. No frills. 
putting down a ray focus. And oh, Whisper gets nine. That really hurts for Whisper. He's looking at his cards. I thought Callus was on the other ship, but okay. No, Callus was on uh, Kanan. Oh, that was about our ship confusion earlier then. Yeah. So that was one damage. And then Kanan looks like three hits. Two and a crit. Oh, yeah. a hit and two crits. He's just hoping to force, so. Steven is reading Countdown's card. He will realize that he can take a stress <laughs> and a damage. And that's what he does. Makes sense. And now he throws some more dice at Kanan. Who can still reduce the shot if he remembers. Yep, he does. Yeah. So it's just three dice. And it is hit crit. And Tim has that evade to spend. So he should only take one damage if he remembers the evade. All right. So that was pretty good, all things considered, for the ghost. Yeah, absolutely. That uh, that no hits from Whisper really, mm -hmm. really helped. Yep. And he's set up to K turn here, if that's what he feels. Of course, Sir Dodgelot is slowly making his way back around. I don't think his plan was to re-engage, but maybe he'll <laughs> throw one of his his uh, harpoon missiles in there and yeah, Tim has to worry about that too. Wow. Half an hour remains in the game. Lots of time. Mm-hmm. Kanan's not in such a bad position though. Like he's got some good damage in on that bomber and on countdown already. Now, Countdown's ability, can he do that multiple times, or is it just once? He can do it uh, multiple times, so long as he's not stressed. Right, okay. And the trouble is, once he does it once, he's stressed. Right. He should be stressed now. We can't see the stress token. But that means he's not going to get back on Kanan this turn. Whisper might. Uh, Masta says Ghost K turn. Yeah, I don't like that, though, Masta, because I don't want to see Kanan taking a harpoon in the side. So Maybe I'm Kanan does a three bank and goes for that bomber try to finish it off. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, he can grab a focus token with his advanced sensors beforehand. Three bank is white anyway. Oh, yeah. He'd be going through that debris, though. Yep. Oh. He's being tricksy. So. Going for a bump? Yep. With a slight angle. Mm -hmm. Get get our judge to work here. Take that monster off of its base. Whoa. <clears throat> Somebody stumbles and almost knocks the whole table over. Three bank would be on debris, says Derek Clivian. Yes, um, but we were saying that he could advance sensors beforehand. But I think he's advanced sensors and then done a hard one. So I think what he's going for here is the auto blaster shot on Whisper. Whisper did not decloak. Oh, you're right. Did he forget? Do, yeah. Do we think that was an oversight or? I have no idea. <laughs> this, this is a really difficult move. Train track the front too. Mm -hmm. Well, Tim's train of thought here was, how can I be extra difficult right <laughs> now? Uh, use up the time that I desperately need to come back in this match? <laughs> Probably not. Well, we need some theme music <laughs> as they do this. So and what's the, the ship you're most looking forward to in second edition? Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm just looking forward to playing with things that have been collecting dust for ages, like my B-Wings. Oh, yeah. I want to bring those bad boys out of retirement. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, everything right now has me really excited. That's a, yeah. This is a fortify hat. Me too. Except for Dash. 
Except for Dash. So, you know what? I'm not going to hate on Dash till we see it in play. Mm-hmm. It's going to be it's going to cost a lot. It'll be most of your list. Yeah. I think the developers know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Give the people four four red attack dice because that's what the people want. <laughs> um. They're. I don't know what's happening over there. They're joking and laughing at the table. Oh, yeah. There's some stuff sliding around. <laughs> sliding around. You need a judge for a judge. Judge replacement. Oh, dear. What's happening? Oh, my goodness. Um, what a mess. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to the T-65, of course. That's that's me. But, you know, I'm also excited about the E-Wing. The E-Wing looks neat. Right. Well, it's got, like, a sort of a version of uh, long-range scanners on it. So you load up torpedoes, get target locks when you're out of range, and then jump in real fast and torp guys. So Countdown does a three straight to escape, to to get as far as he can away from Kanan. Yikers, yikers, yikers. (laughs) Uh, Who's stressed? That's stress clearing? Yes. That was stress clearing. Kanan seems to have taken an evade token with his advanced sensors action. It makes no difference if you evade or not, Stephen. And he can't get out of range one, I think. Yeah, I don't think so. Still, an auto blaster shot cannot kill him thanks to his ability. What's most surprising here is that Whisper has not decloaked. Yeah. Do you think that was? I feel like that must have been an oversight. Yeah. I don't think Tim like rushed or anything. I feel like he must have at the table been like, "All right, so it's uh, start a movement." Yep. So Countdown is doing a barrel roll. He's going to try to get himself out of range one. Uh, He's got to remove his own uh, rock art. (laughs) That might have got him out of range one. I don't think so, but... Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's a risky move. And Sir Dodge Lot, two bank here. Coming around something, the corner. Something leisurely. Yeah, he's doing a three-turn. So Tim is indicating a signal for speeding stuff up. And Steven seems to be just... I think Steven I, just realized that he forgot to decloak. Oh, no, what's happening? Got a two bank from the Phantom, which isn't immediately lethal, but won't allow her to shoot either. Ugh. Well, it looks like there'll be no shots for Kanan or on Kanan this round, unless he has that auto blaster shot. Yeah, on it's definitely countdown. worth measuring. Definitely looking forward to playing me some A-Wings with uh, 2.0. So you mentioned all Rebel ships. Is that, is that your go-to faction? I mean, it is. I, I, I love Rebel ships. Like, I like them aesthetically. I like how they fly. And I just like work. that they're the good guys. And, and that that is, of course, important. So we're measuring here for Auto Blaster Turret. Stuff is happening, and <laughs> it looks like there's no shot. And there's only 21 minutes left in the round, in, yeah. the, in the game. But yeah, I mean, I love flying the Rebel ships. The, the small Rebel ships have been so difficult to fly in competitive environment, and I'm really looking forward to that again. I'm looking forward to plopping a Z95. Oh, there's the Autoblaster shot. Oh, no, he rolled a, a nat rolled crit. Rolled a crit. So a countdown. He gets two defense dice on this. No other mods. And he rolls the one of aid. Yeah. And the Autoblaster doesn't get him. Oh, that's the worst. That's the only time you're like, I don't want to roll a crit. Actually, Tim's rolled crits all the time, and you don't want to roll crits. Yeah, Tim has had, like, uh, Tim, book put bag. your good dice away for now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He's got better position on Whisper, though. And Countdown's going to have to fly through that rock, maybe even twice. Because, of course, Aileron's is a maneuver, so... If he doesn't clear the aileron, oh. the rock entirely with the with the with the aileron maneuver, 
uh, and has to pass through the second time. I he think could either of the kill himself. I think either of the banks will clear it though. I think the bank right does. I'm less sure, but you might be right. Both of the banks look clear. The straight might make him go through it twice. Might. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to tell on the screen. Okay. So Kanan is stressed. Yeah, that barrel roll was a really interesting call. Whisper has only the forward decloak available to her. Whisper, don't forget to decloak this time. Um, she might have the left decloak. Maybe, maybe, maybe available to her. So, I think the bomber, Sir Dodgelot, just does a one straight here. Oh, he's already got a lock on Kanan. I mean, just one straight, focus, let her rip. <laughs> yeah. I think that's best, too, because I don't think there's any way the bomber can escape Kanan's arc if Kanan wants to put it on him. Yeah, Steven doesn't really need to even keep that bomber alive. He would still be quite a bit ahead on points. So I don't know what's happening here. It's an attempt to decloak. That's not going like to work. It's not legal. So they're removing all the rocks, probably at the judge's request. Enough of this farfing with these things. <laughs> these are going to knock don't over. I care how pretty they are. Okay, Whisper is doing a two straight decloak. And then we go to Kanan, who cannot advance sensors. Does he do the one straight? That's a straight of some sort. Yep, just a one. Mm -hmm. So that allows him to do his things. He's got one focus token already on Ray. So he's going for a lock. I guess he's trying to do that because his dice have been pretty awful. Yeah. Terrible. Um, yeah, Countdown's not going to be facing the right way. And I'm going to guess he's hoping that Whisper just flies into him or flies past him. Oh, he's doing Jin Urso. She's got. Okay. Oh, is that what we were checking for? Not a target lock? I think he did try for the target lock first, but. Oh, no. <laughs> And Countdown takes the damage. And... Does a three bank? Oh. Strange. Yeah, that is strange. Now, he, depending on how close that board edge is, he may have actually just killed Countdown. Because you have to aileron. Oh, you're right. And aileron's a maneuver. Victor, can we slide the I got you. Thank you. And here comes some Sir Dodge a lot. No fear in his heart. Okay, looks like Countdown won't aileron off the board next turn. That's nice. Sir Dodge a lot is taking a focus. It's already got a lock. So he's, why is he taking a stress? I'm not sure. So the dice cam has been moved to the left. Is that okay? Can you guys see all right? Yeah. 
And we have one turn for Whisper. All right. Uh, <laughs> glad to hear it, folks. And the dice cam is being righted. Okay, so Whisper does probably a cloak here. Oh, just focusing. Roger, roger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Whisper hoped to decloak left, was unable to do so. Right. And it's been so long are. since the decloak, I totally forgot. <laughs> I mean, this is once again a position favoring Tim. He's got one shot to take bombs a lot off the table. Then he needs to kill Countdown. Yeah. He could absolutely do that. He could, but staying above 50 points with Whisper out there hunting him, ooh, that's rough. Yeah. So I guess take it that's Kanan's shot. He's spending his focus for three, for two and a crit. Did he forget to ray himself? Looks like he did. So we've got three dice, oh and Sir Dodgelot just me? rolled trip nats. Living, oh, my. Living up to oh the name we gave him. my lord. Those are some amazing green dice. So, what's that noise Luke makes upon learning that Vader is his father? <laughs> That's the noise Tim must be making. <laughs> Are you killed, Padme, Vader? Uh, and there's a harpoon doing three damage, one of which is going to be a crit into hull. And it. Blinded pilot. Oh, two into hull. Is that stunned or blinded? I think oh, that's we'll blinded. See, we'll see. Yeah, we'll find out in a minute. Well, that's just like the worst stun. Oh, it was stunned. I, I was wrong. We, I mean, it doesn't. And a structural. Structural damage, which is funny on a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> that's the best crit you can hope for. Yep. The, those are some crazy divide, dice. Wow. Just yeah. about some of the, the wildest I have seen. But uh, Steven's other match on stream was like that. There were there were all these unmodified shots with his with his cannons on his defenders and he was stressed, so he just like rolled trip nats. That's what happens when you use all cardboard everything. This this yeah, this proves that using <laughs> Showing your, off with acrylic is not in your favor. <laughs> And uh, this proves also, sorry about that noise, folks, that the, uh, the, the dice in the core set are the best dice. <laughs> so we continue on with the game. And, uh, I mean, that, that was just so brutal. Tim really needed that to go in his favor, and it should have. I mean, it just seems so unlikely that that happened. Yep, uh, Mike dropped, yeah. and not in a dramatical <laughs> way, just in a <laughs> Sorry mechanical about the noise. way. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> so it looks like Countdown can aileron and turn, start heading his way back towards Kanan. Whisper is not cloaked, so has to do a turn of some variety. Maybe right a K-turn? Well, I suppose she could K-turn. Only and 11 minutes remaining. Only 11 minutes remain. I don't see what Tim can do here. Um, Tim definitely still had a chance with that last round until those green dice were still... Until those green dice... We should not have called him Sir Dodge a lot. No, like, we, that was, we, 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 we really gave him the power. helped Steve in there. <laughs> Tim, we weren't picking sides, I swear. <laughs> so mm. I think you just do a straight with Dodge a lot. One turn probably to the left with Whisper. And come back in with Countdown and take your time. Why didn't Kanan shoot Whisper? Because uh, Kanan wanted to kill the bomber. Yeah. Get yeah. some points. And the bomber had one hull. One hull. And Kanan had four dice with 
a focus token, so it seemed likely. He had, what, three hits after he rolled his dice? Yep, and then the bomber just rolled Natty 3. Yeah. That's why they call him Sir Dodge a lot. <laughs> Sir Dodge mostly. <laughs> Sir Dodge every time. The ship I was calling a points pinata has not yep. lived up to his name. He's, in fact, just been a... a, 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 a Soak for the for the damaging shots from these ghosts. Okay, so we have what looks like an advanced sensors attempt to deal with one of those crits, and he goes straight through the debris. And I guess we got to see that roll. Now Tim has taken two crits from his two previous attempts to travel through debris. Oh, he cleared the harpoon condition. Good call, Master. Right. Not sure what's happening there. And these countdowns still on the board. Will the two turn oh. keep him? It should. If I know anything about strikers, it should. Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah. fine. Oh, it totally does. It's close, though. Like another. Another centimeter or two further on that bank. Yeah, that was, that was a risky risky move, the turn before. I've definitely done that in tournaments where I've gone, oh, and I'm so clever, and I barrel roll over here, and then I'm like, <gasps> uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh. Countdown is doomed. So bomber flying right into Kanan here. People on the chat are saying that the force is with Kanan, that he can make it. Oh, nice block. So we've got Sir Dodge a lot on a rock you in between and rock. another chance. So uh, we asked the judges to oh. be up in there all the time. Oh, Sir Dodge a lot dodges the rock. Yeah. Uh, to answer your question, Derek Clivian, uh, the judge is a little overbearing, but I get it semi and all. Yeah. I we mean, purposely are, have a table judge for these games. Absolutely. People are nervous as heck, as you can see Steven is. Um, and you just need help when you're up, up in there. And you need somebody watching it. So if you get confused and lose track of details. It's likely that the players are saying, hey, judge, do you want to do this move for me? Yeah. There's a rock there. I don't want to knock it. And another thing that's going on here that you can't see immediately is the table is two tables stuck together. It's really it's wild. Despite the fact that both Steven and Tim are both over six feet tall, <laughs> if they reach out into the middle, they don't have great control over stuff they're doing there. Uh, so it's nice to have the judge who can lean in there from the side and grab stuff. Uh, quick question, where did the 75 point come from? Uh, I'm not sure Half what's going on. Half points on Kanan and 50 on Chopper. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the scores right now. Uh, maybe we have a hacker or something. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, at this point, Kanan's down to half. Yeah, so Steven has 75 points of Tim's oh, yeah, list you're right. killed right, you're right now. You're right, you're right, you're right. You got it. I'm tired. <laughs> Me too. There's We're both yawning weekend. over here. So, Tim's going to go for one last chance to try to kill Sir Dodge a lot. He does a three bank. Um, uh, oh, he flew off. Conceding. Yeah, he's conceding. Uh, and that was quite a game. We've got Stephen Buey moving on to the finals. Yeah. Uh, and... That was a great game, helped in large part by those crazy, crazy guys. Yeah, that did not go at all how I expected it to go, but Me that's, that's kind of how a dice game works. Indeed. 